Hello and welcome. And today I'm going to share five secrets and five areas of your life that will make you look younger. This is Sandra Hart of Life Over 60 and welcome to my channel. I'm so happy that you decided to click on this video and spend a few moments with me today. When we talk about uh, trying to look younger and reverse aging, what do you think about? You just think about makeup, don't you? What, how can I apply my makeup so that I will look younger? But do you know what? It's more than just makeup. Looking younger comprises of a lot of things. And I'm going to share with you today five things that I believe are really important overall into looking younger. And it's just not makeup. But we are going to cover makeup. We're going to talk about skincare and makeup. But the five things are diet, your skincare, of course, makeup, your hair, and your style. So today I'm going to cover all of these things, not just makeup, because the overall picture, if you do want to at least look your age or look a little bit younger, these are all things that you really have to think about. It's not just something on the surface camouflaging to try to make you look younger. So let's get into the nitty gritty today about the five things that you can do in each category, the five categories of how you can actually look and feel a lot younger. The first thing I'm going to be talking about is diet. And I've done a video on diet and what you can do and what things are important. So I'm going to go over this very quickly and then I'll put a link below this video to my other video where I really outline a good diet and what we should be doing. First thing we have to do is hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. You know, fill a water bottle, fill glasses of water, but be sure that you hydrate all day long because it plumps up your skin, keeps all the organs in your body working, and it's absolutely essential the older we get to hydrate. Eat green leafy vegetables. Lots of uh, vegetables that will improve our health and help us all the way around because they're so filled with antioxidants and vitamins and minerals that really are good for us. Don't forget to also include vitamin C in your diet, uh, fruits and vegetables um, that have vitamin C or take a vitamin C supplement. But vitamin C is so important to take care of your health and you can get them from both fruits and vegetables. Four, omega-3 fatty acids. You can get that from fish, nuts, um, and if you don't get enough of it, you can take that in a supplement as well. But it's really important. I'm a pescatarian, so I only eat fish, but I am sure that I eat a salmon, which I prefer at least twice a week. And I also take algae peels, which are uh, really good full of vitamin or full of um, omega-3s. And the last thing is vitamin D. If you are in a climate where you don't get much sun in the winter, please take a vitamin D supplement. And if you're in a tropical area like me, if you can be out in the sun at least 15 or 20 minutes without sunscreen, I mean, you could cover your face uh, because I know you don't want to get wrinkles, but be in the sun at least 15 or 20 minutes a day. And if you don't get that, especially in the winter, do take vitamin D. Now, let's get into skincare. There are five things that you can do for skincare. Some of you can use Retin-A. I personally do not use Retin-A. I use Retinol, but I can put a link down below 
to uh, Mary Ellen 60 and she has a very good video on Retin-A and what she has done and she really has reversed the aging process by using Retin-A but it's my choice not to use it but I do use a retinoid which stimulates collagen. The second one is hyaluronic acid. It hydrates deep down into your skin and plumps up your skin by holding I think it's a thousand times its weight in water. So hyaluronic acid, any product that you get with that ingredient in it will help your skin look younger. Peptides. Peptides stimulate collagen and they help rebuild the structure of your skin. So any ingredient that you use that has peptides will be good for your skin. And of course, vitamin C is another thing that we can use on our skin. It's an antioxidant and keeps and protects your skin from all the environmental ravages that we have today. And there is so much pollution in the air from the airplanes and just living and everything decaying around us. So vitamin C does protect that, your skin from that. And there are many different products. I'm not promoting any particular product, but I, these are things that I want you to look for whenever you are buying skincare products. And the last thing that is so important, after you get your 15 minutes of sun, but especially every day, wear an SPF sunscreen of at least 30. I wear one that is about 70, but at least 30 because you must, sun damage, you get skin cancer, you get wrinkles. It's just not good. So if you want to stay younger and keep looking younger, always wear sunscreen. So retinol, hyaluronic acid, peptides, vitamin C, and SPF on your skin. Those are the five things that you can do with skincare. Now let's talk about hair. If you're, as we get older, our hair gets drier and more brittle. So be sure that you are always taking care of your hair by using products that will take away the frizz. If your hair is thinning, use something that will add volume to your, your hair. There are so many products out there on the market and I will put some below this video. So to keep your hair from frizzing and to add more volume, use good products in your hair. It really is important. What do you see when you meet somebody? You look at their eyes, their smile, but their hair also has a lot to do with the whole image. So try to use products that protect your hair. And this is a big investment and an investment that is really worthwhile in your hair. Now the color. Our skin color changes, the tone of our skin changes, and sometimes you're going to have to change the color of your hair if you color your hair. You cannot wear it usually the same color that you wore when you were 20, 30, or 40, because as we get older, everything about our skin and our pigmentation and our skin changes. So you may have to change the color a little bit not too dark. Maybe you'll have to, if you were a brown dye, maybe you'll have to lighten it up a little bit or add highlights to it. But anything that brightens up your face will make you look younger. So rethink the hair color that you are using today. And you know, if you're like me and you've got gray hair under there, that's really awesome or platinum hair, make the choice to let it grow out. Be a silver, silver vixen. Just let it grow out. I know it's a pain because as it grows out, you know, you have a demarcation line, but there are temporary products that you can use in your hair that will cover up those demarcation lines. And also haircuts. Usually as we get older, we have to change our haircut. Maybe we don't wear it quite as long. And maybe if it's long, instead of parted in the middle, you'll do a side bang or maybe a fringe, anything to update your 
hair because if it's in good condition and the hairstyle is is not is old-fashioned and not for you it will make you look older so to look younger update your hairstyle you don't have to cut it short but just get it styled and if it's long maybe just a little bit shorter but always it's so important to have a really good haircut because it makes you look well groomed and really if it frames your face nicely if it's the right color you will look a lot younger volume that is a problem for a lot of us as we get older i know my hair is not as thick as it used to be i never used to even be able to feel a brush or a comb on my scalp it was so thick but as i have gotten older it has become uh less hair but if you have very thinning hair and you need volume, there are products on the market that will make your hair have more volume and it will give you a younger look because your hair looks like you have a lot of hair like you were when you were young. So don't be afraid to buy a volumizer at the drugstore. There's so many different products over the counter that you can buy to volumize your hair. Now these are easy tips. Maybe a lot of you already know it. But these are just five things that you can do with your hair that can make you look younger. And again, the last thing is get good hair implements, a good comb, a nice bristle brush. They are not that expensive and be sure that your hair, you keep the loose hair out, you know, brush it, bend over and brush it, let the blood circulation run through uh, your scalp, uh, massage your scalp, but buy good brushes and combs. Let's go to makeup. When you are choosing a foundation, now I don't always use a foundation. Um, I, I, I don't need it, but when I do use a foundation, I don't use a dark or a real light foundation. I try to use a very warm foundation so check out and test the different colors of foundation on your face and whatever you choose choose a warm foundation because that will give you a younger look number the second thing that i really don't even use face powder but i know a lot of people use face powder you feel naked without it so if you do like face powder and you are used to using it and you like the way it looks on you use a colorless or very um, colorless face powder don't use one with color because it'll get into your pores and into your lines and it will make you look older so you want to have that smooth look to your face over your makeup as we get older we lose fat in our face don't we so let's take advantage of that bone structure. Let's show off your bone structure. So when you are applying your uh, blush, just find the highest point of your cheekbone, the very most prominent point of your cheekbone, and that's where you put your blush. Just blend it in from the highest point of your cheekbone all the way up around your eye because that will also make your eye a bit brighter but because we lose fat that way we are taking advantage what nature has given us and it really looks very natural very youthful and nice so we want to show off our bone structure also as we get older we do get little crinkles in our eyelids and in order for the shadow not to uh, fall in those creases, it is important to use a soft eyeshadow base. Just a little bit of primer on each of your eyelids and just tap it in gently before your shadow because it will keep it in place. And this is especially important if, if your lids do have uh, the slightest wrinkles because fine lines can exacerbate creasing and the appearance of fine lines. Uh, Sometimes I see women who put eyeshadow on their lids and it's so thick that by a couple of hours you can see it's, it's in the creases of your eyes. So in order to look younger, 
use a base and use your eyeshadow sparingly unless you're going to go out for the evening and you want a very dramatic look for a couple of hours. The last thing that I do, and maybe a lot of you are afraid of it and you don't like it, but don't be afraid of a little bit of shimmer. I always put a tiny drop of shimmer a high, high on my cheekbones, right on top the apple of my cheeks, and on my forehead. A, a bit of soft shimmer is flattering as we get older. Why? Because it brings light to our faces. And whenever you bring light to your faces, it again is almost like a youthful, young, bright look. Not too much. Just just a uh, creamy, neutral shade of maybe champagne or perhaps rose gold, but just something really, really light. The one that I use by Avon is kind of a rose gold, but just one tiny little drop will last you a long time. The last of the five is style. And I've talked about this so often, but please don't be afraid to embrace your own personal style. You don't have to follow trends. You don't have to be like everyone else, but you have to be well put together, but keep your style. Be a trendsetter and not a follower. And don't be a prisoner to fashion trends. Embrace your body type. Whatever body type you have, don't fight it. This is genetically what you were given. So don't fight it, but just dress accordingly. Don't wear clothes that are just too tight that you're squeezed in and it shows every lump and bump in our bodies and we all have them. Nobody is immune to that. So embrace what you're given. Wear clothes that are well tailored, that fit you and keep your sense of your own style because that is what makes this all so unique, isn't it? I, and I always, I always say, you know, I want to wear clothes that makes my, or allows my body to breathe. So if you think of that when you're out shopping and you're trying on clothes, is my body breathing? And that will tell you whether or not it's suited for you. Embrace your vintage closet. That's what I always do. Embrace your vintage closet. Don't let those things hang in your closet, gathering dust year after year. Bring them out. Mix your vintage with the new. Create your own within your sense of style. Create your own outfits. Have fun with your closet. Enjoy your closet. And as I always say, rock your closet. Use everything in there, and if you haven't used it within a year, as I've said before, give it to the Salvation Army or send it to charity or to perhaps a women's organization where they're helping women start out with their first job. But donate what you don't wear, but rock that closet. Because if you mix the vintage with new, you will look so put together and it will make you look younger effortlessly younger. The next the next thing is to look for the core pieces in your closet um, that you can liven up with shirts, jackets, scarves, accessories. And when you wear accessories, don't wear a whole lot. Wear one brooch. Um, but just have core pieces that you can mix and match in your closet and that you can wear and count on a lot. The fifth and last thing that I'm going to say is that when you're putting yourself together, there is one model that I always follow. Less is more. And as I said earlier, don't wear, you know, for a, bra a brooch here and a brooch on your hat and on your jacket. The only thing that I really like to layer, and I will layer bangle bracelets. I think that is a smart look get out your gold or your and i mix gold and silver i i mix a bunch of things together here's i have my watch but i have gold and silver and i 
switch them out but but I love bracelets and I love um, collection of bracelets but that's just me but that is the only thing that I would say I load up on more than anything else but just remember to look younger less is more so here we have it five areas of our life five things that we can do to help us look younger we're never going to reverse the aging process but we can slow it down and we can look younger by looking like we have reversed it by using and doing all of these things with your diet your skin care your hair your makeup and your style thank you for joining me today I enjoy all of your comments and if you have an opinion or can share a story with us what you do to look younger and how you dress and what type of makeup you use or you don't use what kind of skincare you use or you don't use just share with us share with everyone in our community so we can get fresh ideas it's always great to take in information that someone else can give you that may help you lead a better life be good to yourself today. Be kind to whomever crosses your path. And let's all share the love. And let's all look a little bit younger. Take care and I hope to see you in my next video.